Usually the first thing that brings a patient to a board certified plastic surgeon's office is the tired appearance and that really nine times out of ten is the eyelids. The eyelid is really made up of three different distinct structures. There are fat pads within the eye socket that protrude out over the eye rim. The muscle that closes the eye gets weak, it stretches over time, and that gets saggy. And then also the skin overlying gets thin, it gets wrinkly, and also stretches. So when we consider eyelid surgery, we see those three structures, how they sit on that wall of the cheek, and then we decide what needs to be done. So we take the fat out from the inside, we then make a small incision below the lash line and remove a pre-measured amount of skin. After we've excised the skin, we take the muscle, we tack it back up to the corner of the eye socket to re-support it where it belongs so it's strong again to support that lid in a functional position and then stitch up the skin edges so you've got a nice fine line, the only line being visible right below the, the lash line. The most important thing we need to do is to make sure that the eyelid functions properly. We want it to look better, but we cannot disturb that function.